<laughs> that was the hypest start. That was the hypest start. He's more he's more hyped than we are going into this. I can't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, two, let's go! We have a lot to talk about, not really. I made this all up last night on my phone. I didn't have a PC. I'm sorry, but we'll have a lot to talk about on the spot. That's we're also casters. That's what we're meant to do. The the all that all that information comes out and we process it immediately. This is Jaeger, this is black and blue. Sorry, white and gold. I'm sorry. Yeah, we talked about that, remember? Okay. So the first thing we want to talk about is a big hit to Asian CSGO, and it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't want us in their tournaments. Fierce Tigers has qualified from CSGO Asia Championships. Good afternoon, GG Nabez69. <laughs> good number to have. Always a good number to have. It's a lucky number for a lot of people. I don't know why, though, because I'm a virgin. Um... We want to talk about the fact that nobody believes you. <laughs> nobody believes you. Yes, I have slept with many a man. Oh. Um, CSGO, it. You slept with the entire production team, is what he's done. The prod team just said, You slept with me. Um, he's got a kid. Are you, aren't you ashamed? <laughs> you let me in. I don't game to. CSGO to. Crossfire. CSGO pala. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, gusto ko CSGO. Ikaw? Ha? Huh? Gusto mo? Gusto kita, sir. So, you may be asking yourself when you're playing matchmaking, why do I always get matched against hackers? Well, I'm not going to say it's because they're Chinese, but Fierce Tigers are Chinese, and one of their <laughs> members got vacked. It's not because he's Chinese, but it could have something to do with it. We don't know. Let's play CSGO again. Oi, Siruni, you want to play CSGO? Sometimes I'm lucky. He watched me play. I got a collateral kill. He got a collat- And then I got- I got over- I got over, uh... Yeah, smoke kill through. I, I remember. Oh yeah, I got some smoke kill as well. And then I got overconfident, jump out into the open, like, Oh, I'm fallen! And I get just shot in the face. And it's yep. like, oh yeah, that's, that's right. Eat all my ammo! I am not falling, that's right. That sucks. So yeah, that's a- that's a- that's a big hit. You wanna- look at the- do you have the article up? Of, uh, yes. Yes, yeah. I do. So t tell the people what happened. Who's the player responsible, Mr. Leo? So, Leo, Kun Leo, um, Kun how? Leo. Kun Leo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was banned from a tournament, a $300, 300K dollar tournament for, um, having been vac banned in the past on his Steam profile. When they checked, it was like, uh oh, look at this red, these red texts on the side of my screen. Yeah. It's a, like, the team said, consequently, Leo is now permanently banned from Valve-sponsored and Perfect World events. Perfect World is their client for CSGO. Uh, in addition, Fierce Tiger is disqualified from participating at the CSGO Asia Championships. Tyler Leo are expected to be the replacement for the upcoming June event after placing third in the qualifier behind Fierce Tiger and VG Fla VG Flash. VG Flash. I want to say, like, isn't it weird how, like, in China they have their own kind of, like, publishers and servers? As yeah. compared to the rest of the world, like Call of Duty is different there. There's something called Call of Duty Online, and they had Battle Royale in their Call of Duty last year, but we're just in the West and everywhere else, we're just getting it now. So they had a Battle Royale they last year? They had Battle year. Royale Call of Duty last year before everybody else. I just saw for Black Ops 4, which is coming out in um, yeah. after E3 or whatever. It was, it's not the same as Black Ops 4, though. It's Yeah, yeah. They, but they're going to have a Battle Royale as well. Yeah. What is this hype? Did you see the CSGO mod that had the, uh, the Battle, Battle Royale mode? <laughs> How is that going to work? I mean, at least if you're a CSGO player, you sort of know patterns and stuff, so I guess that is helpful. I saw the looting system, and it's like really crappy uh, crappy UIs, but they, I mean, they're doing their best with like a Valve engine. I, I mean, come on, Valve. Give us a better engine. Let's go. How long has Eventually, it been? The technology just isn't there. <laughs> How long have we been on... Source? Yeah. Forever. Forever. CS, forever. It's, it's, it's the same engine. Source 2, when. Source 2, when. CSGO. Mm. Yeah, so he's let down his team. Fierce Tigers, that's the team of Savage, HZ, TB, Monster, and no longer Leo. So, Leo, he couldn't keep up. That means his teammates knew he was hacking and didn't say anything, yeah. which is not cool. Or he's just very good at hiding it, but how could he hide it from... How do you hide it from your teammates? Yeah. That's hard. For that long, you play every day, you practice, you scrim. That's hard, dude. I don't know. Yeah. But the other thing is... Uh, and this is something I want to talk about a while ago, but I've never been really, really been able to bring it up is the fact that when you're playing online tournaments, it's hard 
it's hard to tell whether or not someone is hacking. Yeah. Like you, it's it's hard to prove that they're hacking if they are or not because it's like I mean it should be innocent prov- until proven guilty. But like we had a a Philippine tournament where we had two of our players. I can't remember who the other. I remember it was Wits and some, and someone else. They, they were, were hacking. No, they were accused of hacking though. Oh. And I know them personally, and I know they wouldn't hack. It's like they don't. <laughs> It's like they don't play that well to be h- hackers. So the people watching, it's like they was it was like it was rigged because the guys that organized it, they were a betting site as well, and everyone was like, "Oh, who the heck is this TNC team? They're 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 the underdog. Uh, they're, they're they're the underdog. There's no way they're gonna win." And then they won, and they're like, "Oh, must, must be, be hacking." hacking. Yeah. <laughs> they posted it on Reddit, and someone was like. This, these are some really standard play styles. This is really simple to do. Uh, we're doing this in, in MG in, in the US and in EU. And and people are accusing these guys of hacking. What's going on here? Why is why is the scene so undeveloped there? I think there's something going on behind the scenes. I agree. A lot of people think like um, for pros are hacking. I see so many people accusing pros like tier one pros of hacking um shroud has been accru- accused stop of hacking, hacking like crims what's going on yeah Flusha? Like, they don't understand that a lot of times the reason why some players do what they do is because they're getting calls they're getting a lot of info their teammates are calling out to them so they're playing off of that you can't hear the entire like they've, they've even gone around uh recording voice chat like at esl yeah. they were recording voice chats you can hear what they at say EAG. i mean it, it turned out like they only they only use the uh like I want to hear what the actual team says when they're playing, because it's like when when like all we heard was oh my dick is itchy and it's like well, that's nice. <laughs> and I said, what did you say? My dick is itchy. That's fucking sexy. It's like what the fuck? I'll what is admit, that chat? Though, listening to like Cloud Nine and Liquid's um in game chat is pretty funny. <laughs> it can that, get is, pretty... That, that is true, and especially Oops. when Stewie gets gets on a Built roll. <laughs> did you you saw his entrance during uh the the the, the show the show match? Yeah, like he yeah. came in on the second round, yeah. and like it, it opens after, with "sup, bitch," and he walks in <laughs> after losing the first round. Call him the backup. Yeah, it's like, get out of here. Your dream team slash top five players of all time. Mm. What are yours? Damn boy. Um, in CS:GO, Thanks for the question, Elvis. CS:GO, not not one point six in source. Um, it's hard. Cold, get right for us. Nico? It's hard. <laughs> it's a hard question, man. It's it's hard. Let's not talk about that, okay? Let's talk about this. Oh. It is hard. I have to think of two. I think for me that would be it's pretty easy for me. Uh I'd want Coldzera, Fallen, and Fur. Olaf. And Put then Nico and Rain. I think that's 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 you my put team. Rain in your top five of all time? Yeah. Really? I think Rain is super consistent. And I've he'd always be a very good support. Like Rain, but I don't think I put in my top five. It's because you can't have all star players. That's the thing. I mean, if it's a, that's like my the dream team. If it's top five, it would have to be Cold Fallen Fur Nico and Fur. You put yeah. Fur in there. I put Fur in there because I can't put Fur in there. He pops off really well sometimes. He's, I can't put Stewie do in there. I wouldn't really? put Stewie in there. I wouldn't put Stewie in there. He's like top. 20 at best. First, first <laughs> the think. is the best lurker. IMO. I'm sorry, but get right. Lurk. Are we talking about lurking here? Get I'm, right, brother. I'm talking about behind your butt, stuck a knife in your ass. Lurking. Really, for me, fur is more like stab a knife in your throat right in front of you. He does do that as well. <laughs> Through I, a smoke. <laughs> I think get right is, uh, I mean, like, he's still, he's still as consistent as ever. He's he's old. He's getting old. Uh, I don't know who my fifth would be. It's that's hard to. These are hard questions. Why are you giving us hard questions? That's hard <laughs> to decide. Mm. Like yeah, Stewie's uh, he's good NA. I'd say, but it's like he's he's such an onliner, and he always has been. Okay, now, at at like their peak, I, I got mine. It's Nico, Kenny S, Get Right, Forest, and Simple. There, those five. I won't put Cold. That's not bad. So, yeah, I'd put simple in my top five as well. But if I had to change anybody out, I'd put cold in there. I'd put cold in there too. I did put cold in there. So yeah, that's a that's a big hit to uh, to Asian CSGO. The fact that we got another player, Vac Band, and it's like at some point I am really hoping that Asian teams can get into you know the international scene without hacking. Here's actually a good tweet 
from uh there was success with already. Dailu. They did shit. They did that is well. true. This is a lot of J-pop. Let me just <laughs> let me just scroll past all of this. Let me show you this because this is NSFW. No, they, they they number one team now. Astralis definitely. Astralis, Astralis are right insane. Okay. Ayup sila mismo. Ayup sila. <laughs> like they're yung util use. They had an ADR average damage per round versus phase on Inferno of fifty seven using only utility. So every round they did at least they did an average of mga fifty seven or fifty eight damage to the enemy using just like grenades and stuff. So that's so prang lakas, so prang tigas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever that was supposed to. That's that's <laughs> that's the Filipino I know. So this was Thorin's tweet. Um, I can't give you the link because I took a screenshot of it. Oh, so you just have to take my word for it. Thorin said, Chinese esports at an all time overall high. PSG wins Dota Major. That's for Dota 2. RNG wins MSI, which is for League of Legends. And Tyloo finished top 4 at IAM Sydney for CSGO. Worlds and T are the main prizes, but this is a special month. That is what Thorin said. Now, what what is the difference between CSGO and the other two there? Wins, wins, fourth place. That's how low our expectations are for Asia. In CS:GO, the difference is the other two are MOBAs. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's it. MOBAs. I mean, historically, Asia's never been a free strong. MOBAs. Free. Oh, oh, throwing some shade. <laughs> yeah, if 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 CS:GO was was free, like it's like Crossfire. We've yeah, got Crossfire one of the top is. teams. What's that? Pacific Macta. Crossfire is bigger. We're good at. We've won tournaments yeah. internationally. Shred will join a new team. Oh yeah, we talked about that last week. Yeah. Sean Gares, Sean Gares, new thing, um, uh, Lurpus, mm, Fifi, Fiflarin. Yeah. Yeah. They're so, they're playing, it's an ESEA open team though, so don't expect them to play like, yeah, too many not, tournaments. They're not gonna be at the major. It's a stream team, that pretty lineup. much, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. There's another Happy see more pornographic Shruti. for you. Oh dear. You're Send welcome. me that one later. <laughs> <laughs> J-pop. What was I gonna say? What were we talking about? Uh, it was Asian CS:GO. Oh right, yeah. Um, Chinese but historically, things. Asia's never been like super good at FPS games. Like even going back to Quake, when I used to watch a, a bit more Quake and the old CODs and stuff. But and old CS, it's always been NA. No, it's always been EU. NA's come up more um, throughout Quake and TF2. Uh, the Brazilians had a showing. Maybe. Made in Brazil back then, but Mibber. mostly it's been EU and NA that's been good at FPS yeah. games. Like, really, Brazil should be the the place to look for as inspiration for any third world country that's not historically been good at the game. Because they, they bust out hard. Too easy for Ben Tet. Ben Tet is fire. He ben is Tet. fire. Call me if you if you see this. Tigas. It's not so brank perverted. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so brang tigas. Medyo lang naman. Medyo tigas. You know, it's if if you you're saying he's hard because it's hard to it's hard to take him down. You could say he's as strong as torrential rain. So brang masa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> this is the Filipino I've learned for this show. You've learned the good words then. You have learned the right phrases. Siempre. For the occasion. <laughs> For your entertainment, so that's that's basically what we want to talk about for uh, Asian leagues and and CS:GO in Asia. And that's Although that's what's the next end. week, tune in. I think Tyloo is playing with one more Asian team. Um, on what is it? I think DreamHack Open something. What? What's? I do like DreamHack. They got some good events. Yeah. Um. Let's. Ju- we'll. We're, we'll ki- <laughs> We prepared for this. Don't yeah. worry. We yeah. prepared for this. We, we do not have HLTV up on our phones. Don't worry. Yeah. Rekka versus Archangel. So that's going to be happening on the 23rd. That's on mm-hmm. Wednesday. Uh, if you... What time is it? That's 6 p.m. for us. In 40 minutes, 5 p.m. Uh, Gambit versus Big. So check that out. Yeah. yeah. You you're gonna, open like, tour We'll end just in time for you to watch that. Yep. Um... Rekka vs. Archangel, 6 p.m. Yes, on Wednesday. 
Archangel is your team, and you're gonna want to support them. Okay, that's for that's for ESL one. They've beaten Rekka before, even though they were the underdogs. They beat them, and they can do it again. Okay, if it's gonna. You are a betting man. Yeah, those are good odds. <laughs> yeah, just like it was two two point four times last time for them. Everyone's betting on Rekka, so don't be afraid to put some a couple of eggs in Archangel's basket, okay? Because their lineup right now is pretty strong. Jaw, Kaka, Retract, Upstep, Carl. That's Mineski plus Wrecked, so that's really good. Uh, North versus Gambit. What are your thoughts? You go ahead. That's layer layer. Who do you think will win? Let's put it that. It's a best of three. I don't know. If I knew the maps. There were no, there are no map picks yet because it hasn't started. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. It's, like we'll know by then. But I um, let me see. Where is what country are they doing this? It's in? pretty equal. Like it's hard to say with both of them, because um, okay. Well, I mean, we'll look at the the roster as MSL, AZ, Valde, Mertz, and Kierby, and that's gonna be the against thing is, Dosha, Adrian, Mo, with Hobbit, both of these teams. Both of them had big showings. Uh, North have, uh, yeah, North have performed to some extent in tournaments gotten decently far but never won anything too big gambit has won the major <laughs> too big obviously water. too big water <laughs> basa <laughs> basa basa <laughs> fucking juvenile <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel yes. like a high schooler um gambit yeah gambit won the major against was it liquid yes uh immortals Immortals, yes, Immortals. Um, so they won that against the Brazilians, and but ever since then they fell off. But nobody was expecting them to do even better. Everybody knew they were playing above their level, kind of like when Cloud Nine won the major. Everybody knew they were playing above their level, but it happens. Yeah, I'd know. say right now, I think Gambit is going to beat North, uh, because I think so too. I think Kierby is still. It's like it's different from Astralis, and it's like he, he. I think he's having a hard time finding his position. He's he's almost playing simple currently, uh, without Cage and yeah. B as the uh, as Kirby's the offer there as well. It's like insane though. Yeah, he's Kirby is really player, good. He's like the Danish simple, but it's just that it's not working for him right now. But I know eventually, um, Kirby's going to find his spot. Yeah, I think North is going to be. He's too they good of be a player. top team. They, they're they're going to get there. He's too good of a player to be held down like that. Maybe replace yeah. MSL. That dude, he's looking a bit old. Replace MSL. What do you have against old people, man? Respect your elder. Not when it comes to esports. <laughs> <laughs> VP. Uh, <laughs> um, TNC or Archangel? They're going to be watch they're going to watch this and they're going to hate me. Uh, but I'm going to say Archangel right now, but that's because I want to support them uh, a lot. TNC, they, they've not yet lived up to my expectation. Witserino is not opping the way he should be. Uh, I He should be the main opper and he should be consistently opping well. I've seen him play amazingly. Is it above his level? No, I don't think so. He's been consistent before and now he's not doing it anymore. I'm not happy with it. And uh, Moja left. When Moja left, he was not the best. He was not doing well, and I think it's because he was distracted by problems that he was having at home, which I can't talk about, but that I know, just so you know. So, yeah. Um, Speaking of the local scene, uh, Havoc Minor League's going on later. You guys might want to check into that. Yeah. Um, support the local scene. I don't know if we'll be casting that, because I think... Well, uh, I thought like I 7 p.m. or 9 p.m. I think. Yeah. I can't, I can't talk about when we'll be casting it, but there will be Eventually. certain days, because... Where it will be the uh, honorable casters, so to speak. Um, what is the best or worst map? The pro scene? Well, pros are playing Mirage a lot. Mirage is the most played um, map now. But in my personal opinion, I freaking hate Mirage. <laughs> it's, really? it's like Dust 3. It's what it looks like. It's so yellow. I don't like, I don't like, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of Dust, so I'm tired of Mirage too. But... Um, a lot of people are like playing Mirage. Orientals. In my opinion, the best map, though, um, just for, like, regular MM is Cash. Cash? Yeah. I... Oh. Okay, so, for me, um, my favorite map is Train. That's your favorite map? That's, yeah. That's new. Because the, th the thing with that, that is, like, it is very easy for me to op on 
on train because it's a lot of tight angles. It is an off map. So it's like I can do well on that map. Plus I've I've won a, I've won like a bunch of clutches on that, which I never clutch. So I like that. Plus SK used to be very dominant on it, so we're VP, and so I like to watch them doing that, playing that way. For me, the worst map. The you one hate I do not Inferno. Like, Inferno is actually my favorite map. I think Gash is the best map, but like, in just in general, because it's very open and stuff. But Inferno is my favorite map. I love playing Inferno <laughs> with a Mag Seven or an AK. Yes, yes, give me that. The uh, the map I do not like is Cash. Cash really? Yeah, for Why? for matchmaking, I'm just I don't know. I just cannot play well on Cash. And when when I watch it played, it's like I don't know the way something almost anticlimactic about if you watch um a series and the last map is cash i feel like it's not going to be a good finale oh really i feel like it's not a good finale map uh you want like cobblestone or overpass or just love, the, the bigger maps a lot you know? of um series um enders are end up on inferno actually that's true it's yeah. weird even though it's the fourth most played map i think or second even but it always gets played at like the end people choose it to put it at the end yeah yeah it always comes up like it's like cloud nine versus phase for the finals of e-league overpass is a lot of times like second or third map nobody starts on overpass a lot of times it's like the third yeah map you, sh you never start on overpass and it yeah. it's, it's like the second to last map or the second map it's always yeah. like that um overpass i do like that dust too i would play it more matchmaking but there's so many hackers yeah. on dust too it's like they're go because it's like the only one they know and you'll have people that are like silvers in real life but yeah. they've just gotten really good at dust too so it's like oh can we just queue for dust too and it's like really <laughs> learn the yeah, map some people dude. only know dust too but i understand because dust too is sorry a for your phone users it's a <laughs> it's a very simple map yeah a lot of people learn cs starting with that map <laughs> best map um pachinki Best map, Aztec, <laughs> the Aztec. The Aztec, dude, I want it back. I want you back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll move on. Um, X Big Daddy said first map always cash or Mirage. Yes. Yes, that's actually pretty common. Yes, yeah, that's, a that's, good... that's true. Well done. Well spotted. Astralis versus Liquid, the results from EPL. Who was the winner? Spoiler alert, it was Liquid. <laughs> In another universe, <laughs> yeah. you would be right. It was hella Astralis, and we weren't surprised. No one's really surprised. Uh, the only thing I think people were surprised is that they didn't sweep the series 3-0. 3-0, yeah. It's like, it's it's been a lot of dominant um, plays recently uh, from single teams. So Astralis doing well right now. Dupree, he got, you guys understand the dialogue? Oh, po. I not know. It's just a Um... Dupree got the MVP uh, award. I don't know what his. Let me check his rankings because I want I, uh, his Dupree, stats. Funny thing, actually, about not funny, but just insane thing about Astralis. Top five um, players with uh, ranked this tournament. They had three of them: Device, Dupree, Glaive. In that order, Glaive yeah. was in yeah. the top two, three. Number two, number th uh, uh, Device was number two. Dupree was number three. And uh, Glaive was number four. Nico, phase Nico was number one. But he was above device by like 0 0.02 AD, uh, 0 0.02 2.0 rating. That's all. Glaive, I still don't like him, but well done on him getting the, uh, the top. The, the, the top. The top. Okay, so the map picks uh, the map picks for EPL were Dust 2, Nuke, Mirage, and then Inferno. Can you guys guess which map it was that liquid uh one on dust two nuke mirage inferno phase nico for so yes that's my home right. nico for solo plays <laughs> yeah solo plays nico he's he just you saw that that it broke my heart but sk versus sk versus phase clip oh it fine. was like phase was on this is mirage he was just below connector and he planted the bomb it was oh yes he was, he was he was it was a 3v1 right yeah 3v1 he he played that so well. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Headshot machine. Be, 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 Zoom be, be, be. got it. It was Mirage. It was Mirage that uh, Liquid yep. won. So, uh, okay. So you want to hear the awful score that was the first map? Oh, man. Dust 2, 16-1 to Astralis. How insane is that? That hurts. At least it wasn't a 
Yeah, you know? the, uh, they didn't get 16-0. <laughs> Thank <laughs> goodness. Hindi sila nang itlog. Diba? May isa pa. <laughs> there's one more. Yeah, they there's, gave there's one, one. One round. What was surprising for me was that, and I didn't think this was going to happen, um, I thought Astralis were going were gonna to remove it because they should have known that Team Just Liquid Luke? were practicing on it. Nuke. Oh. And they actually, Liquid did a good job. It's 16-14 was the final score. They just hedged. That was... That was the fourth map, right? No, that was the second, second map. map yeah. that, but that was their pick. Yeah. That was um. That was uh, Astralis' pick. Yeah, that was really weird. That was so weird. It's like, okay, so apparently Team Liquid uh, have been practicing on Nuke. Let's try it. Let's try it. And that's what came out. Liquid picked Dust 2. And they lost 16-1. That's how sc how scary that must that have been. So 16-14 came out from Nuke. And that was Astralis' pick. Even though Liquid have been practicing. What the hell? 61 on yeah, pro level? Yeah, beer bod. The funny thing is, not that just happens. on pro level. It was the finals of that tournament. The finals. Pro level finals. Pro level finals. Uh, Mirage 16-14. Again, a close call. There, Liquid are actually making it look close. And on the final map, Inferno. 10-5. First half. Went to... Um, went to Liquid. And then the second half, Astralis came back with 11 points, and they got up to yeah. 16 to 12. I don't think it was a surprise to anybody that Astralis um, won, though. Well, yeah, what was surprising was how close Liquid came. But there's a, there's actually wait, a clip I want to... Can you um, look for Rain eating a cigarette? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Rain eating rain a cigarette. Eating a put, cigarette. It, put it in Just, a browser source. It's yeah. Rain spelt like Rain. And then eating cigarette. Yeah, it's on. It should be on Reddit. Um. Yeah, he only told me this recently. Yeah, because he bet that. Indeed, man, they didn't sell the game, but might as well. But yeah, so Rain from Phase, they got, they got, they were eliminated by Astralis, and he was like, "If Astralis don't win the finals three zero, I'm gonna eat a cigarette." And to his credit, he did eat a cigarette on stream. Because it was three one during the tournament. Yeah. That is, that is disgusting. You that saw? Have disgusting. you seen the clip of the guy that like he's like passed out? I don't even smoke at a cigarette. party, and then like some guy put a cigarette in his mouth because he thought it funny, and then he went. I don't think that's a cigarette. It was a cigarette, and he and he ate it, and he swallowed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> and they, what? Like they were they were like they were like filming him. I don't know how stick oh. Yeah, he's like <laughs> he's asleep, and then like so subconsciously. Gum, 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 gum. Mm, stick and he just swallows it <laughs> and like they all just start laughing at him it's like you guys are so mean you got vac, vac ban on leo really yeah it was a vac ban did you do you guys Buckman? see that uh, leo vac ban no <laughs> did you see the uh picture of the uh there was like the team no not like a team like a it was a hangout and they're all playing CSGO, and there's one guy duct taped to Which the ceiling. Team? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's a really, really, really old CS. Really old video. <laughs> yeah, one so guy, because like, they needed space. Yeah, so it's like, it's like where, where do we play? I know. We'll tape you to the ceiling. Tim Malicious, shout out to you, buddy. What's up, my guy? What is up, my dude? What's your favorite team? Tell us your favorite team, guys. I actually want to... The last topic we have for today, we'll, we'll say it in... Well, I mean, we'll talk about it in a minute. I think it's how. Have you can become a pro. I think we have a clip, though. Yeah, let's pop the clip. There, there. Here's Rain being interviewed. I don't know if you guys can hear this audio, but pretty much what he does is, uh, he's like, I think he's talking to Nico there on the side. He's done, trying to tell him that Nico to come, but to, to confirm it's a real cigarette because I don't want to believe. So he removes the filter of the cigarette. That that such a cool jersey. Yeah, I like the face jerseys. And, whoop, stick, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you can see in his face. He's like, Kadir dir, just eating pure tar. Yeah, it tastes like wood. Apparently, he says. Have you ever eaten a cigarette? No, I've never eaten a cigarette. I think the closest I've eaten to a cigarette is like a piece of bond paper. Oh, <laughs> it tastes like wood. Yeah, it tastes like wood. That is disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> eating a I can't bloody see cigarette. Anymore. I see us though. Yeah, I see this beautiful man beside me, and I see this sexy, hunky, large biceps, huge, um, huge personality. Huge mm. muted clip. Oh, oh, mute. it was. It's. I mean, you, you got the gist of it. Yeah, you guys can just search it up. Rain eats a cigarette. Yeah. Okay, so that those were the results. Those were the results. 
liquid removed overpass, straws removed train, liquid picked dust two, straws picked nuke, liquid picked mirage, straws picked inferno, cash was left over, and cash never. Most happened. hated bash player in CSGO? There was a time where everybody hated Flusha, JW. Yeah, Fnatic yeah. got a lot. They got a lot of crap there just because no, they were so dominant. There was no team hated more than Fnatic in the history of CSGO. <laughs> yeah, like nowadays, the team that gets the most hate, I'd say, is probably SK. SK gets a lot of hate. Because people are losing money on SK. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, do we bet on SK? I don't even know. <laughs> they're, such, they're in such a gray area, so we're not sure how well they're doing. Plus... Thorin really hates SK fans and Brazilian I, fans in general. I got this weird like um, correlation that I thought of last night when I was watching the VODs. Um, SK is like, there are four Brazilians on that team and one American, right? Yeah. Liquid is like the exact opposite. They have like oh yeah, <laughs> four Americans and one Brazilian. And they have taco, right? <laughs> you could eat a cigarette, I think, just not a lit one. I think you could eat a lit one, it just wouldn't feel good. That'd be gross. Like someone, someone's got a freaking lit cigarette. You just go. Uh, that's bad. I've seen people accidentally inhale like lit cigarettes though and <laughs> stuff. So, like, uh oh, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> this is not meant to be eaten. I mean, there's chewing tobacco, but that's not the same. Oh God! Why make chewing such tobacco an and idiotic spit? bet? Zoom. Why make such an idiotic bet? Well, go big or go home. That's go big or go home. That's the rain way. It's totally toxic. If it was lit. Uh. <laughs> wow, Rooney and uh, Tim Malicious, this there's chemistry happening, and those guys are gonna play some PUBG, PUBG. together. Never cast it. It's it's hard. It's are you guys hard. big Battle Royale fans? People yeah. Watching? It's, I'm guessing there's a lot of Fortnite PUBG. Yeah. ROS people going on. <laughs> Ross, that's still a thing. I thought they. Oh yeah, they, they did. Didn't they, they close? It? Actually, no, they didn't. But because I know someone was still playing it yesterday. The thing it annoyed is, me. I know they closed it, but like. I went to the the Play Store and I still saw it there. So I was like, maybe it's not closed. Fortnite Mobile. Fortnite Mobile. I know that it's coming out. Oh, it's not out yet. I thought it was already out. Okay. And then this month apparently. Cause like you know what it's like. Like we have a we were playing Fortnite. Pulubji. Pulubji. <laughs> we had a friend. Rosnami <laughs> Bayad. We had a friend playing with uh with. An Xbox, and he's playing with us. And it's like, is, there's no way he can he can Controller? keep up. But Portland? somehow he was surviving. Yeah, he was surviving longer than everyone else on PC. On yeah, again on PC servers. But that's also because I'm not good at that game. I'm so Neither am I. I just like to shoot people. I don't like building. Like building and stuff. Um, sup, Jan Jan. Sup, Naj Naj. Who would bet on SK? Come on, the the number two chokers. Number one is Phase. It used to be Choke Stralis. It used to be Choke Stralis so much. That's why they. That's why their story turned into a success after they hired the uh, their sports psychologist. They hired one. I forgot her name. There's a video on her. You can search that too. I forgot her name. Um, so they hired a sports psychologist after losing the finals of, I forgot what major that was, maybe like four majors ago. or five, Yeah. And they, after hiring the sports psychologist, they won the next major they were in. And so maybe FaZe and SK might want to look into that. That. I think... Uh would you say SK are chokers? I'd say they're like they're like almost no, comeback kings. No, SK. I don't think SK are necessarily chokers. Um, if you watch their games, it's not late round situations that they're losing. When they get their like, if they get their trades early on, they can usually win. Like if they have their three v twos, they can they can clamp that down. They they don't get screwed over by the enemy team. What SK's problem is early round. Like a few seconds into the round, the um, first thirty seconds, they're getting picked off without being able to trade with the enemy. Their late game situations, post plant, they're doing that well, but it's their early round that's getting them not the res that's not getting them the results that they want. So, yeah, I don't think they're necessarily choking. It's just they're just messing, doing really amateur mistakes because <laughs> they're losing yeah. early round stuff. It's really weird when you get things like you get things like um, audio is out. Can they hear us? Can you guys hear us? It's it? just for you. Try restarting your Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chick Ping. What rank are you guys? I am a GN. I was GNM. Now I've deranked to GN3 because I lost too many times. <laughs> that feels bad, dude. I was MG like a month ago. Um, I'm a you? silver. Liar. <laughs> I'm silver master. We'll roll with that. He's a liar. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a face it boy. Um... PHCS Go lacks funding. I remember when Mineski team had to pull out of a tournament due to budget constraints. 
Yes, there's not a lot of sponsors for PH CSGO because it's it's like it's not a proven it's not a proven esport to invest in. It's not like, you know, how easy it was for the for a new Dota two <laughs> team. Silver Master first Silver class. Master first class. <laughs> That's good. Like you look at Tasca's Titans and those guys came out of nowhere and they're already performing at such a high level. You can't do that with PH CSGO because it's like First, where would you find these top five players, and are they even good enough on an international level? It's like at least when you're playing against other Asian teams in Dota Two, they're already at that level. Honestly, I think like if you took the top five players in the Philippines right now, you put them on one team. The thing is, they're not on one team; they're all spread out. If you put them on one team, there's a chance. You know, there's a chance they'd improve a lot more and probably not get to tier one. You know, but. <laughs> But you know, get decently deep into some tournaments, international tournaments. Um, maybe not <laughs> expecting like what Tyloo has done, but you know, close. I think if you get the top five players, eventually, if they get more practice, get to play against better competition. Mm -hmm. Like what? Are, like so? I mean, there are three ways that if you want to get into international CS:GO, there are three ways the Philippines can do it. One is you have you have a full team. And then you send them abroad to practice against the better the better players. That way they can increase their level slowly until they get to that level. That's what SK did. The second they could do is they get players um they get players come in from abroad that play with our teams and they learn like if they know enough English they can communicate and they can learn from each other. And then that increases the entire level of the region because they're everyone will be playing against them and learning and then it'll just cascade. The third thing they can do is send one Filipino player to another team and like hope he's one of the best and hope he can learn as much as he can so he can come back to the Philippines and spread that information. That's what we want uh, them to do because then that, that helps everyone. A shout out Jeremiah, Jeremiah Esturco. Hes Hesturco. Hesturco. Yeah. Hesturco. What's up, friend? Hola. Um, Elvis, best PH player equals tier three. Sad but true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what are the best? Who are the best PH CSGO players? Sad but true. It's a Metallica song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I was, I, I didn't pick that up, but, but I'll believe you, Metallica. Yeah. Um, the top three CSGO players, uh, dubstep, I'd say, uh. God, I mean, this kid's a prodigy, Sig, but he he doesn't play anymore. But Sig is an absolute prodigy. That's what everyone Why keeps telling he play me. Anymore? He just Do got you know? tired of it. He wants to, he wants to focus on school. You know, oh. he doesn't he doesn't think it's it's a safe choice. Uh, what I put Goofy that's, in the top three. That's now. kind of the unfortunate thing about CS not being as big here that you can't. A lot of people have to um have Imagine. other. They have other responsibilities that they have to take care of first. It's not. Yeah, like as they can't easy, support themselves. It's yet. not as easy of a career choice here, you know, unlike in maybe other places like South Korea or whatever. It's so but hard without guarantees. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's 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 that. I don't know who are the top three players would be. Maybe uh, Dispenser. I put Dispenser up there. Uh, yeah, because he's been performing at an international level at some points. Uh, I think the third one is most viable. Send Panoi players to a foreign team. Yeah, that'd be good for them. Like DJ. Like DJ for Fnatic. That's what he did, right? Tingin ko di lang din yung sponsorship ng problem dito. Yung experience din outside sea tournaments. That's also true. That, yeah. Like, it's so rarely that Philippines get to uh, get to play in international. Like, actually, this year, we've been very lucky. Because we've had the Asian uh, minor league. We've had... Uh, I mean, it was basically it was basically that. There's there was another tournament I can't remember it right now, but we got to play against teams that have played against international teams or Australian teams. Uh, Archangels just fought Tyloo. That's a really good learning yeah, experience. They, they beat Raka. I mean, uh, Raka. Raka. Yeah. Um, like what was that two weeks ago? Yeah. Something and then like Tyloo were what? They beat them sixteen seven and sixteen six. That's really good. That they got six rounds and seven rounds. That's really good. Um, Hopefully so, they're learning from their. Um, their opponents, you know, they're fighting international teams. Hopefully, for, they're learning from that. I hope so. I, 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 I mean, it's it's not like it can never happen. At some point, we have to have a team that's like, you know what, let's do well, or some sponsor that's like, <laughs> do they just I've choose like, let's do well? Money. Yeah, it's like, 
there has to be a response that's like, I've got all this money. What should I do? What's very risky? Send a Filipino team to Europe? Let's do it. Yes, Tyler investors. went to Germany. That's Thanks. what they're doing. Nice Nine says he's a pro. He's just an organizer. So how you can be a pro is our topic. Yeah. Any you guys have any CS like specific related questions like tips that you guys want? Something you're confused about, like how you should play on certain maps or what you should buy, stuff like that. Because that is a topic right now. How you can be a pro. So how you can be better at CS. Hindi kasi magiging bumaril ang Pinoy sa ibang putukan mo. How you play it? CS lost its grip in the PH market. I remember when LAN games were king and all PC shops only had CS installed. Yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's just it's, it's a shame. 1.63. 1.3. Source was big too on, in LAN shops. I used to play a lot of Source and love 1.6 in LAN shops. Just messing around with friends like, wait, tara, scout knife style, you know? I used to... Uh, it was the only game that I liked playing because I, I sucked at Dota 2. So I was like, can you guys please, please give me CS is dead in PH. Well, mm. is it dying? I don't know. It's 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 stagnated at the moment. Nothing's happening at the there moment. There are small leagues that you guys want to check out. Um, Obviously, there, there are two like main ladders you guys can play in. Servers, there's Havoc and Wasid, W-A-S-D. Um, there are tournaments, there are local tournaments. Yeah, you get tournaments in like internet cafes and yeah. things like that. Uh, they're not There's well... TESL, that, that league. Um, yeah, TESL's under WASD. WASD. Yeah. So it's like those are the tournaments you have here. International tournaments, they're the minor leagues, Were Force, MPGL. MPGL is another one. Mineski do have MPGL, their tournaments yes. for CSGO. Uh, so those are the ones you want to look at. So if you want to become a pro player, um, like, well, the minimum requirements for most teams is you have at least 4,000 hours played, uh, you're at least LEM, and uh, you're willing to communicate. Communication, they say, is the, the biggest thing. Like, when I'm talking, Zero Two said he could make me a pro. I was like, I was like I'm only a GN2 at the time. <laughs> and, and he's like, it doesn't matter. As long as you can communicate, I can make you a pro player. And I was like, wow. But I didn't take that offer up because I I don't trust myself for that. I'm not gonna be the reason why PH go fails. And he was from he's he's Wolves. I've not heard from Wolves in a long time. Wolves was a was a team that they just so consistently. Yeah, Wolves. Up. Um, another one's Act Gaming, AC Gaming. They play. They I AC Gaming. I used to know. I used AC to play with a bunch of uh, so the tanks. The cool guys, but mm. I don't know if they've. Uh, ACG, uh, North or Gambit. I think I was gonna win. I think I was gonna win. Yeah. In in that's in ten minutes exactly. Yeah, in ten minutes. Uh, new team red. I don't know who who's the roster for red, Jan Chan. Uh, so yeah, it's wolves right now. IPT. I think they're lacking a couple of players. Uh, TNC, Archangel, Maneski. Uh, you know the top teams here in the PH. You want to get noticed by them. Those are the minimum requirements. And then if you want to get to that requirement, again, it's what Sky said. The 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 coach, the old coach for Archangel, uh, said 500 kills every day, free for all. What's what's his IPT now? The CS team. Uh, I uh, IPT. Either. I'm not sure who's on their roster now. Because Getsmob is still on their roster. And I know their Overwatch team closed down. Is what happened. That's that feels bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so new team red has zero. Amica two seven two two. Those are the guys from Rampage. Uh, I do know that Rampage. They'll be. Their team is going to be disbanding. Even though they won Operation Havoc, they're disbanding because Jordy's not going to be there anymore. So it's like, who's going to who's going to fund them? You guys plan turning pro? Man, <laughs> if we planned to turn pro, we'd, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be playing. I'd be boot camp. Yeah. Um, <sighs> no. Communicate. What does that exactly mean? Like, don't be a dickhead to your teammates. Call outs. Uh, the call out. It's yeah. You have to be. It's clear, concise call outs. Uh, your ability to work with your teammates as much as possible. Say like it has to be fast and it has to be responsive. Say someone throws a firebomb at you. You don't have a. You don't have a smoke, but you want to keep your position. You ask your teammate immediately. Firebomb on me. So that means they'll smoke you out. Uh, <laughs> they have to smoke you to save your life before you die. It has to be fast and quick like that. Uh, you say three, you, you, you don't go, 
Because this is a, this is the thing that happens a lot in matchmaking. It's a reason you're not a pro. It's because they'll hear two people make footsteps in apartments say, the rush and they're, they're all here. Yeah. They're all here. Everyone rotate. And everyone yeah. rotates, and three people just walk onto A, and they're like, huh? If no you only here? hear two footsteps, you call out. At least do an app. You know that's what you say. You also actually, what's a big thing? Um, compliment your teammates in MM when they do something nice. You know, like nice try things like that. It helps a lot with. You guys are going to play each other for like an hour. You know, you guys are going to be with each other for an hour, whether you like it or not, unless you leave or they leave the game. So, you know, just be friendlier to them a bit. And it actually does help because people tilt, not in this game as much as I've noticed in other games, but people still tilt in CSMM. So, you know, just be concise nice. and yeah and when you call out too don't don't repeat what you're saying like three four times twice is what you do you do uh help a long help a long stuff like that that's good enough you know yeah and make sure you're listening as well if someone says help a long if you're not if you're clear in where whatever position you're holding or someone else can hold for you then go help it's 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 that it's that important uh to communicate the other thing you have to have which is kind of obvious but you have to practice it all the time. It's aim. <laughs> yeah. Aim. You um, can't suck at aiming. There are so many workshop maps that you can download. There's aim bots. There's a bunch of them. Um, you, pra you try them out. Check out the workshop for CS. Whatever the most popular aim maps there, you try those out. I personally use, used to use aim bots when I used to practice a lot more. Um, I use aim bots as well. Yeah. And then free for all. The free for all uh, death match. So you, I mean, you're gonna keep dying. You want to try and keep your stats up. Make sure you you're like you've got you, when you get your 500 kills, you haven't died 700 times. You don't want to have like a 0. 0.8 whatever rating. You want to try and keep it at least one to one, so you, that you know you're always trading. You're not like losing majority of rounds. It's like a, it's an equivalent, and it's okay to die as as long as like you're doing your best to not die and to get as many kills as you can because it's like a health uh restoration thing as well like when you get a kill you get plus 25 hp or something like that when you're playing the free-for-alls um i think havoc's got a free-for-all so does was d uh there's a couple of others as well but that's always that's a really good practice to have just shot putang inamo and they'll be your friends forever <laughs> true. some it's that's actually true. so common that people hear that in dota from playing with pinoy is that like even cs some people know it means already they're yeah, like, put tank in a mall. <laughs> That'll be like that. Put tank in put a mall. Put tank in a mall. I hate that. <laughs> Every time I say that, put tank in a mall. What is that? <laughs> I came up with that. Yeah. Put tank in a mall. So uh, yeah, those those are the two things. Then the biggest thing to get noticed is to join the communities. The communities, you know, the Havoc community, CS:GO PH group, the WASD group. You want to join those. You want to play with the people. When people say there's an open slot, do you want to play? You play with them and you impress them, and you try and show that you can communicate and that you can you can aim and that you you can have good synergy, that you're not toxic and all that stuff. Because that that'll stick out to them. If they suddenly see that you're around a lot, they'll be like, "Do you want to join the team? Do you want to try joining? Like we're making a new team. Do you want to join us? We're gonna we're gonna try and play in this tournament." And it happens a lot. I saw the uh, the signups for Havoc, and there's a bunch of new teams, yeah. uh, and they're all made up of all these players that are just they just want to be part of the community. Yeah, just even if it's on short notice. I'll give an anecdote. Um, maybe a few years ago when CS wasn't as big, but it was still CS Go. I the I I just saw on like a random Facebook group like somebody the tournament is in two days. We need to stand in. Somebody want to join? I did join. Uh, I joined them. We got wrecked, obviously, because we only practiced like once the night before. But and apparently, I was the highest ranked player <laughs> on the team. I didn't know that I was teaming up with Novas and stuff. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, that's but then you've, yeah. you've played yeah, in a tournament. Take your opportunities if you want to go pro. Then, yeah. That that's already experience. You can say I have played in a professional tournament. Yeah. I have also played in a professional tournament when I was in Cebu. We there was like a, a an open thing. I was like, let's just go, guys, and we got completely smashed because I didn't know what anything was ever. So yeah, John Ray Kapang Kapang Pagan. Dot dot to you too, buddy. Dot dot to you too. So we're not gonna end ever. Yeah, she was never gonna end. Yeah, we have to say goodbye now. Um, we did have one more thing to talk about, but we'll talk about it next time. Thank you to Lupon and Wongbo X Combo. Follow us at Soya Gaming and Nivo Girl, so you can see it down there. If you're haven't, if you aren't following the channel, 
follow it if you can sub that'd be even cooler but yeah sub yeah <laughs> do, do, do all that juicy stuff uh and uh thank you to you know have a gaming group WASD group csgo ph official csgo matchmaking csgo marketplace which is now a secret group but you guys want to join that if you want to be in a marketplace uh and to just everyone um and we'll answer your question next time elvis never go for a trash talker goodbye my friends and tune in next time on friday we'll be Adios. back